Hi, this is Ken with Steambrite. This is a service video. We're going to show you how to install a Hypro uh, chemical injector, uh, part number 3395, I'm sorry, 3396-0025 uh, onto a 2345B-P uh, Hypro pump. Uh, if you have a new one, uh, this is how what we're doing here. Or if you get a new pump and your old pump has this on it and you just take it off and put it on the new pump, when you throw away your old pump, you're throwing away a part that makes it work. So th this is important. Uh, if you're going to install it in the middle, you take these two head bolts out. If you're going to install it on either of the ends, then you just take this one or this one out, depending on which way you're putting it. But you will not be able to install this bottom part of this with those head bolts in the way. So you take your Allen wrench that fits there. They're going to be hard to take out because they're put in with blue Loctite. So you're going to have to wrestle with them a little bit to get them out. Make sure you have the correct size Allen wrench. This is a one inch cap nut. You can use a one inch socket or if you're careful you can use a one inch box in wrench. Take that out. Now this you're not going to reuse. The head bolts you are. Now you need to get the valve check valve out because there's a part of this it's called a slinger ring and on the new ones it'll be located inside this red cap don't lose it that's the slinger ring and that has to go under the valve under the o-ring that's under the valve I don't know if you can see this but the top of that valve it's got a circle with four little arms coming out you're gonna grab this arm pull it then this one on the other side of the circle back and forth to finesse that valve out of there don't grab it any other way you could damage it but like that there came out if it comes apart it just snaps back together you can tell by the way things are shaped how they go the spring the poppet has on the back side has a little raised part that the spring fits over and then the seat just snaps back into that plastic frame set this aside there's an o-ring under there you got to get the o-ring out okay common mistake people make when they put new check valves in is they won't take the old O-rings out. They put the new ones in with double O-rings that crushes the valves when you install it. That's getting off the point. Now, you've got the valve and the O-ring out. Now you install the slinger ring to the bottom of that well. Then you're going to put the O-ring back in. You push it all the way to the back. You can kind of use your tip of your finger or your fingernail to make sure it's all the way in. All the way around. Okay. Then you put your valve back in. Now, if you're switching pumps and you're trying to move this over from your old pump, you have to take that apart and get that slinger ring out. Because, of course, with a new one, we get a new slinger ring. When you're moving this from an old pump to a new pump, you're going to have to salvage the slinger ring out of the old pump. Now, you screw this in now it was important that we took these out because this base of this would not have screwed in with that in the way but now we got the slinger ring then the o-ring then the check valve then this and you go ahead and snug that up with a wrench and we're, and then you take this part apart in the middle you don't have to, I'm not gonna keep you on the phone while we do that but you take this part away from this part with two wrenches then you can install your head bolts back in and then you put this back on and you're done thank you